Hi guys, I played with geometry nodes recently and tried to use audio to drive animations. So in this video I will show you the setup for the video at the beginning. Since there is no audio sampling node yet I will use an add-on called Visualizer. It basically makes baking the operator bake sound to F curve easier. So to start off, make sure the add-on is installed and activated. Open your sound file with the browser button and set the bar count to something reasonable. This setting is like a equalizer splitting the bandwidth. Then press add audio to VSE so you can hear while animating. Then press generate visualizer. Press play and you see that it created bars with the sound curves baked to the Y scale value. I put them in a collection and disable. Then I add a plane and a cone scaled down and moved in edit mode, so the pivot is at the bottom. Then I select the plane and add I geometry node tree. Next a point distribute and a point instance node and select the cone as instance. Then I add a object info node and select one of the bars created by the add-on. To get the Y scale value I add a vector math node connect the scale output of the object info node to the upper input. Then set it to multiply and set only the Y value to 1. This way only the Y value will be passed on. I guess I could have skipped that since the other values are 0 anyway. Then I add a attribute vector math node set to add. For attribute A, I choose position, same as for the result. I set attribute B to vector and connect the vector math output. When I hit play you see the points moving along the Y axis. So it is working, but I want the points to move along the Z axis. To do that I add a attribute separate node. So I take the position of the points, which are vectors and split them into each value for the three axis. I can name them to my liking. Then I change the attribute to the Z position. To remap the Y scale value of the object info node to the Z position I add a separate and a combine XYZ node. Then I connect Y to Z, since the attribute I created for the Z position is not a default attribute, Blender doesn't know what to do with it. So I add a point translate node and type in the created attribute. Working so far. For the effect I am going for, I want to create a mask to limit the influence of the sound curve. To do that I add a attribute vector math node set to subtract, set attribute A to position Y and attribute B to vector. Then I connect the Y value of the separate XYZ node to Y of the combine XYZ node. I name the result to mask. To add further control I add a attribute color ramp and set attribute and result to mask. Then I add a attribute mix node and enter mask for the factor and position Z for attribute A and result. I choose vector for attribute B if I increase the Z value, you can see now the Y scale value of the sound curve no longer drives the position offset, but acts as a mask on the Y axis. In my example I use different primitives. So I begin with adding a sphere. Click on new node tree and choose the node tree from the plane. As you can see this results in a weird deformation. So the point translate node doesn't work as desired in this case. I delete it and change the attribute of the mix node to position, to see the effect. 
You see it works as expected, moving points along the z-axis. What I want is to move the points along the normals of the sphere. The way this works at the moment is, scaling the normal attribute, using a attribute vector math node. Then mixing the position attribute with the normal attribute in the mix node. Looks alright, now I want to control the scale as well. Therefore I copy the color ramp node and name the result differently, so that I can control the influence separately. I duplicate the attribute mix node, set the mode to add and use the new ramp attribute name for the factor. Then I change the affected attribute from position to scale. I set attribute B to vector and now I can influence the scale. Because I had not defined the scale before, Blender used the default size of the cone. Now I add the vector values with the factor defined by the color ramp. So you see that, where the ramp is black the scale value is zero. So I can increase the size by adjusting the color value of the left slider. Nice. So this gives me quite some control over the effect that I want. Now I can add more primitives. That's it. Thanks for watching and if you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing. Bye.